What's up all my filmmakers on YouTube? It's your boy M. Lee on the films. And for all my subscribers out there, y'all already know what time it is. I mean, it's no introduction, you know. I'm also on Instagram Live off, over there on the cut. So what's up on my Instagram? Instagram? Instagram Live watchers. Uh, so I'm about to unbox my new camera, man. You, you, if you guys been subscribed to me for a long time, you already seen my uh, reactions to my last cinema camera that I had got, you know what I'm saying? I was pr pretty much geeking out, you know? This is like one of my loves right here. So when it comes to filmmaking and just video art, that's 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 just what I do. So with that being said, man, this is the T5 SSD. This is the camera right here from Adorama.com. I did get it used. I'm gonna break down all the details and stuff like that later on inside the video probably, but when this is like a celebration right here. That, that's why I got my little drink right here. You know, it's a celebration because like, y'all just don't understand. I'm back on my horse, you know what I'm saying? This is the horse right here. You know, I sold my cinema camera a few years, a couple of years ago, and you know, time to get back on that video art. So what's up to my boy Lorenzo? I know you're probably watching, boy. You always showing me love, always hitting me up. Real fan right there. So first let me unbox the T5 SSD. This is my first T5 SSD. I do have another SSD, but it's made for my MacBook. Um, so I can't wait to use this bad boy. This is pretty much what you need. You know, if you want to be recording some 4K, especially 6K, it says portable SSD T5, three year warranty. So let y'all get some close ups of that, of the SSD. You know, pretty slim, pretty dope. And then I also got the, um, the small rigs cage. You guys already seen the unboxing in this already, but you did not see this extra attachment. So that's pretty much the uh, hand strap on the side right there. That's also by small rigs. I didn't really know they sold nothing like this. So that's pretty dope. Instead of having an extra handle on the side, making it more wider, it's best just to have a little strap right there. Bam. And then when I'm filming and stuff, also what I like to do sometimes when I'm filming, what I love about having the side strap is like, I like to have my hand just down like that. You know, when I'm not filming nothing, if I don't want to hold you by the handle, I just, you know, boom, grab a shot, boom, 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 hand down, talk to my client real fast. Yeah, yeah, boom, boom, back filming. Bam, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. So, yeah, the T5 SSD slides inside there like so. And then it should, I should be able to lock it into, into place some type of way. Y'all, I'm excited, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I feel like a little ass kid right now. Let's go. Hopefully this cable is long enough. It should be. Let's go ahead and get to the main meat of the uh, video. So, screw this SSD right about now, because ain't no point in having an SSD if we don't got the motherfucking camera. So let's go ahead and get to it, folks. So this is not your typical unboxing. You guys already know, typically, typically I do professional unboxings with the voiceover and stuff like that and make it sound real professional. But when it comes to me getting a new camera, a new A camera, oh, nah, man, I got to do it tongue in cheek. I, anybody can do, oh, what's up, people of YouTube? It's the Blackmagic 6K Pro, and I'm here to give you guys an unboxing and review. Of anybody can do that, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do, I'm just giving you guys my raw feelings, you know what I'm saying, right now, because I'm excited, bro. So let's go. And that's that's the thing that that's the thing that my clients love about me. Anybody that's excited about what they do, shit. Of course, I would want to get some work by that person. If they're excited about what the hell they doing like that, like shit. Let me get some work. Hold on. Why does shit look brand new? Okay, out of Rama. It's not brand new though. It's used. But it's like, it's used with their top, top rating on Adorama.com. For those of you that know about Adorama.com, it's a camera store based out of New York. And they sell mostly used camera gear. So they got the best deals, man. So, sheesh. Yeah, it is used. It almost looked like it was brand new for a second. I'm about to lose my mind, boy. Instagram still popping. Everybody be giving me some, some, some uh, comments. I know I can't see from way over there, but that's the whole point. Y'all got the y'all see the behind the scenes. Y'all behind the scenes sitting down over there posting in the corner, you know what I'm saying? While I do my thing. If y'all wanna y'all get the little tease, the strip tease, you gotta watch, you gotta subscribe to me. Go to my YouTube channel if you wanna see the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Can't get y'all everything for free. Make your asses work. So as you guys can see, um, it comes with the original box. When Adorama sent my Canon C100 Mark II, it did not come with the original box. So for me to have the original box of this, I'm very excited. Or as Borat will say, I am very excited. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, let's get... Oh, I should never did that. But anyways, <laughs> as you guys can see, it's 6K Pro. You guys have seen this box before plenty of times on YouTube. So, ain't no point in me showing the box and reading the box. Nothing like that. Might as well get straight to the camera. Ain't no point. I know you guys like the way I be, you know, reading the stuff and stuff like that. But I don't got time for all that. I've been working on the railroad. It's like I've been working all day. <laughs> 
Been working all day. Black Magic stickers. Uh, what's this? Welcome guide. And then we got power cable. Okay. We got the batteria. All right. Batteria, mami. So I got a lot of these as well. These are the uh, Sony batteries that uh, go with the new Black Magic. Well, not new, but the newer model of the Black Magic uh, Pocket Cinema cameras. They use these batteries now. I got about three of these already. They're relatively cheap, but I'm. But in the future, near future, I'll actually be uh, upgrading to a, um, of course, a V mount battery. So original strap looks brand new. The original Black Magic strap, which I would not be using. Ain't no point in me using the strap for a. Uh, video camera even though it's shaped it's shaped like a dslr but it's the video camera lift that on up oh man here we go mm. so people be complaining about how big this one is compared to all the other pocket cinema cameras because the whole point is the is the fact that it's supposed to be small a small cinema camera but compared to my canon c100 this is way smaller so i ain't tripping and this shit feels Perfect, you know what I'm saying? Perfect. That's up over there. Uh, let's go. Uh, got the little screen on the back. Get the little high shots. Uh, boom, bam, bam. Low shots. Bam, bam, bam. What y'all know about that? Hey, stop. Stop geeking out real fast. But now, nah, folks, I love how. Ooh, it feels okay. I'm geeking out. Sorry, but I love how. Uh, <laughs> smooth it feels you know the hinges and everything feel super smooth uh you know i told you guys i, I was gonna be tongue-in-cheek ain't hey ain't no shame in my game i'm excited i can't i can't tell you guys how it feels compared to the other cinema cameras i never had one but it does feel super good even the way your thumb sits right there they have like a nice little groove and i got big hands so the fact that my hands don't feel cramped or nothing like that this feel this fits perfect like a lot of people may feel like this camera is too big but the way my hands are set up this is actually the perfect size. So, and then also with my cage, this goes inside this bad boy. That's the main thing I can't wait to do. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm trying to put it inside, you know what I'm saying? Inside your, oh shit. I'm gonna drop my SSD, hold on. Anyway, so let's go ahead and slide. I think this is slides in, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, like that. And then at the bottom, it has two screws where you can screw it in. Yeah, screw that in and then the fact and the thing i love about uh small rigs they think about everything so they got the little allen wrench right at the bottom so you can go ahead and screw that in you don't have to worry about searching through your gear for an allen wrench you know what I'm i love people i love uh vendors and people like that that just think about the small details sometimes it's about the small things that make a big difference not too tight just nice and snug pop that right on back inside there Oh man, you about to watch the hell out, boy. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. The party does not stop there. Your boy also got the mini follow focus, you know, for this bad boy. And then also a map box. So we're, so we're gonna go ahead and put all that together. Well, I can't right now, actually, because I'm using the lens that I actually wanna use this for to put all this together with. So for now, for the sake of this video and for the sake of me being uh, just live, since I, since I can't uh, do all that, I'm gonna grab my 50 mil lens and just pop it on here just to see how it looks with the uh, 50 mil lens. But I can't wait to use this lens on this camera though. 50 mil lens with the uh, 4K. And then let me go ahead and get the uh, follow focus. So you guys see how that's nice and packaged and stuff. I love how they, uh, how small rigs uh, packaged everything and stuff like that with this follow focus. And this is only my second ever follow focus in my life. And don't the one I had a long time ago was was good for it to be a beginner's follow focus. But when I got this one and started using it and twisting it for the first time, when I was doing the uh, B roll shots for you guys, I'm like, this shit is hella smooth. You know, like it feels like it's like super smooth. There's no like no because my other one, you can tell like there's like a little bit of give. The gear turn like a half a little millisecond later after you turn this little knob. You don't want that when you, when it comes to focusing. When you try to get like nice focuses and stuff like that, it didn't really bother me that much. I just kind of lived with it. But to have something that actually works, you know, it makes it, you know, a big difference. It go pretty much like that. 
be able to focus my lens while I'm doing my thing with the video and stuff. But man, I can't wait to film. I'm really tempted to go out right now just to go capture just some random stuff, you know. But I'm trying to give myself a little break. Your boy just did just blah, blah, blah. your boy did just get off work, and on top of that, I'm filming a YouTube video. And then on top of that, you know, I gotta edit. Probably my, I might end up working on a YouTube video or going live or whatever the case may be. So you know, I'm just trying to re relax for the rest of the day. I've been learning how to give myself a break, you know, and my little future been on me about that too, if you know what I mean. Yeah, man, I'll be, yeah, yeah, I'll be working my ass off. I don't be stopping, especially, you know, doing my single life. All I got is my time to myself, so shit, I'm just going to just utilize it. Go ahead and drink to the fact that your boy's back on the films. Y'all see my logo, right? You see how it says M. Lee on top of the films, how the films is at the bottom? Because your boy, I be on my shit, M. Lee on the films, you know? And then I also didn't show you guys the map box. Yeah, I love how this, this whole setup is and everything. This is my second map box. And... This be on, on the very front of the camera and that allows you to block the sunlight that's coming in. If you don't want no sunlight hitting your lens or something or stuff like that, you can slide in little ND filters, but I will not be doing that because this comes with built in ND filters, which I talked about inside my vlog. So, <clears throat> so with that being said, people of YouTube, thank you guys for watching this unboxing. Uh, raw just impressions just giving you guys my first look at my new camera going forward for 2022 and 23 and maybe 24 I might step it up you know you never know what goes on you know what I'm saying so um, with that being said shout out to everybody that's been showing me love and support that been pushing your boy asking me where the videos are at and stuff like that that been trying to get work done by me you know now your boy got an official a camera again so your boy back on his horse let's go I'm supposed to be giving you guys a list of ideas i have for 4k videos i got coming for youtube but my phone is i got my phone doing instagram so i'm gonna do that inside a different video so with that being said it's been emily on the film thank you guys for watching and i love and support love you guys and i'm out peace let's go Woo. <laughs> normally i catch that but i got my glasses on i'm gonna take that out of there